Okay, people, I am um, completely doing this in a new way. Um, I'm not speaking through my Bluetooth. Well, I think my Bluetooth on the uh, recording part is done. Like everything comes out muffled and jumbled. And I have literally been making my podcast for three weeks and I can't understand a word that I'm saying. So um, let me get on with it. See, I had to evolve. I had to let go of the past. I had to put that shit in the trash. I think that some memories are just here to teach. They are lessons that you must shed in order to be able to process life again. Do I make any sense? All I know is at times I try so hard to be the positive light of divine insight and in the middle of trying, I begin a quest for a better tomorrow. Only now I see today was teaching me to stop and rest, to look around and to remember you are giving it your best. It is funny to me to remember the hows, whats, and whens. When this happens, I begin to understand everything I asked for in life was handed to me. It may not have been handed to me in the way I wanted it to be, but eventually I understood the process of every road taken. I can't say I'm happy about everything dealt to me. But all in all, it was a teaching to bring me to where I needed to be. That is, I think, what we get when we ask for signs. When we bitch and complain about the rain, we look around and see the flowers blooming beautifully. There is a reason for all that rain. It clears up the dust and rust that gets in our way. It makes the earth new again. It's like a reawakening of our souls. Nothing is handed to you freely, okay? In order for you to see that, you have to fall to lose it all so you can rebuild in what you have lost. In that case, I have lost a lot. But in losing, I became a lesson to teach. Oh, all those reminders I carry within me. Every moment of your life shapes you, makes you, devastates you, rebuilds you. Each word ever spoken in love and in anger teaches you to be more careful with those words that you spew. It seems as if I have spewed a lot of shallow and ungrateful words at the people who meant the most to me. To the ones who still hold me to light. Well, they stayed with this impulsive child even when I pushed them away. They stayed true. They saw in me what I couldn't seem to see. They held their nightlight for me, hoping I would emerge from whatever whatever depths of hell and all that bitterness that was trying to stay confused inside of me. Looking back now, I was once this hollowed out shell, never seen, never visualizing what I was or who I'd become. I kept that mentality of just, oh, poor pitiful me. But as I said before, that pity shit, it wears on me. I know that we all have days where we dwell in that dark place, but in order to see the sun, we sometimes have to allow our thoughts to roam through those days when we were at our lowest point. Those tears that we cry, oh my friends, it brings out the rainbows and makes those lessons before you. Well, it makes it easier to see. Believe me, I don't have shit figured out. I'm still learning while crawling on these knees, but I am looking forward to the journey of discovering a new way to see. I am proud of me, truly, and at times, I am still waiting for more rain to come to wash more of my misery away. Though I think of this life that I made, I can finally say, I am ready for another day. So, hello today. Let's see what the day holds in store for me. Blessed be.